Hey guys, it's Tony again, and today it's gonna be a Van Leon video. I haven't really done Van Leon in a long time, was because uh, usually I go with uh, myself or small party, and um, lately, I mean, since before last patch, Van Leon been glitching that if it max spawn, it DC everyone in the party, so have no chance. Because uh, I, I, I'm not the type that bring a lot of people and then try to brute force kill it before it spawn. So usually, I made a video a long time ago of how to kill it without having like a whole bunch of party so I'm stalling it today because uh, I heard the blood the bucket flick is fixed so yeah let's talk about how to kill it today I guess it'll be, it'll be somewhat like a guide so okay so Vandion um, the only thing that really would kill you is probably the 20k damage reflect and uh, pot lock but what is annoying for me the most is probably the potential lock because you know you used to seeing big numbers coming out from yourself the potential lock you did you did like hardly any damage and kind of frustrate you, you sometimes. The damage you like lasts like maybe five seconds and it's really obvious to see. You will probably see it throughout this video and if you die, don't use wheel. You respawn outside so you can just keep coming as many times as you want until you board or until you give up. So yeah, so Van Leon, the trick is really easy. Like, so first you need the single target hitting skills like from Nylord, it's triple troll. For Shadow, you can either use assassinate or What's, what's the name again? The the six blow thingy. I can't remember the name. Savage blow. There we go. That's the name. Yeah. So pretty much, um, sometime when you stand under Van Leon, even though it spawn a lot of mob, you can still hit it. So pretty much try to lock on to the Van Leon and just keep spam hitting it. Um, Van Leon. The other, the other annoying thing is that it spawn two two type of mobs. One is the big boar that you can see in the video right now, and the second type is the mini golems. Which is uh, if the HP go low enough, it will it will eat up all the, all the mini golems to heal up the HP, which is usually it will half, I mean maybe one fourth, one third of the health. So you can either kill the mini golem fast enough for it not to heal, or you can use this way that I'm about to explain. Um, if you guys watched my last video on Ranleon, it was like when the Ranleon first came out, I went to solo it. You can probably get the idea already, but I'm just um, a lot of you guys probably haven't seen it, so I'm just gonna talk about that today. So pretty much. This this trick is the most important part. It's the first 10 to 15 minutes because that's the only time that Van Leon will most likely spawn the big boar guy. So pretty much in this 10 to 15 minutes, you have to deal as much damage as possible. Um, preferably try to make it spawn the boar until okay, it go by spawning boar and spawning the golem sometimes, right? So, but it, it will eat up the golems and it sometimes it will spawn boars again. So what what you're trying to hope for is that it spawned the boar. Up to the point that the map has the max spawn, I mean that it cannot spawn anymore. So it will end up that even though it wants to spawn golem, it cannot spawn golem. Um, I don't, I'm not the best at explaining stuff. So if you guys have any questions, just post down in the comment below. Um, so basically, I just want the map full of boars because I'm not gonna kill them at all. And then if they get golem, they're just gonna eat up and then hopefully spawn boars again until the map, the map is max spawn and can't spawn anymore. And that's where you beat it down from then. But then, um, do not kill any boars. That's really important. And some of the problem that you guys might face is that sometimes your attack doesn't lock into Van Leon. Oh yeah, just do damage reflect just now. Okay. So what you do is that you, okay, this is in case of you soloing, you flash jump really far or walk really far across the map. And Van Leon has this trick that usually you teleport to the person who do the most damage to you. Which is, uh, if you solo, that is you, right? So you teleport to you. And then the mob walk really slow, so you'll, you'll catch up later, and then that that where you can refocusing that you attack. And sometimes it will send you out. Um, don't worry, just hit the box and then get the key, and then it will allow you to pass through the portal, get back to the same map again. And pretty much that is all there is about Van Leon, really. So why would you want to kill Van Leon? Van Leon, the boss drop um, Van Leon coin, which you can trade in for the Van Leon equip. Mostly, what people really look for is a glove. Even though there's an Empress Glove now, but it's still a pretty good glove. It's 7 attack, I mean, <laughs> seven, 7 slots. Level 120, you can get Char Eyes, you can have a. It's it better than Stormcaster Glove because uh, the level over 71. And I know a lot, a lot of these things are obvious to you guys, but in, um, to some, I believe it's not obvious, so. I'm not very good at making guides. I don't know, I just realized it's actually the first guide that I, sh that I make. So yeah, so this is the this is the end result. I'm sorry if it's laggy a little bit. Like, I mean, my computer is not so good, and usually I can like record okay now. But then at at this time, it's like so much so much of thing going on, like a lot of boars. See, like, as you can see, like there's so much boars, and I think up to up to this point, if you don't kill any boars at all, 
It will only spawn one mini golem, which is you should be able to out DPS the mini golem healing. And yeah, just beat it down from then. Nothing special. Yeah, there's a lot of effect going on because the boar. And see, I, I, I stand under them, but then the, the attack still focusing on the Van Leon. And just watch out for damage reflect, and then it should be cakewalk from then. It might take a while because uh, some, somehow you messed up and you kill like a 2 to T boar, it will take you a longer, even though it won't heal a, lot, a whole bunch, but sometimes it's annoying because of the potential lock just kill your damage like crazy. So yeah, I think that's it for the guide, and next thing I want to thank you guys is that um, I just realized that it's been one year anniversary two days ago of me making video on Flex. Yeah, it's been a year already, can you guys believe that, that I started making video on this account? Um, the, the the first video is not there anymore, it was a group about a bodyguard run with me and my friends that a lot of them quitted already. So yeah, if you guys want to see that video, I think I re-uploaded it, but then... Um, with a, with a new commentary instead because uh, the music has copyrights and all those. Some of you guys might remember and then after that video I get pretty good feedback and I start making more and more videos. And that was how I started. And wow, it's been a year already. And then 5,000 subscribers, 5,600 subscribers. Thank you everyone so much for watching and supporting. And um, if you have a friend, maybe tell them, you know, I will greatly appreciate it. And hmm, I've lost my train of thought there. Yeah, I'm kind of just getting into making guides and stuff like that. Um, I want to make a training guide, but training is not really my good point because I just usually hate grinding with my passion. But if you guys have any other guide that you guys want to see, just leave a comment below. Give me suggestions and what you guys want to see, any suggestion of like next event or anything of that sort works. And yeah, thank you everyone. It's been a year already. It's a kind of like a China happy birthday since the new child. Flex <laughs> video has been started. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. And yeah, I guess I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video. And don't forget to click like if you like. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.